So firstly, tell us a little bit about yourself and your MMA background. Um, my name is Johan, Johan Garcia. I'm 27 years old, I just turned 27 this month. A um, little bit about myself, I'm a banker by profession and my hobbies are uh, mixed martial arts. Um, I, my martial arts background, I started with um, Muay Thai at the age of uh, 15, 16, and while I was in still in secondary school in Malaysia. Then I continued to uh, do Muay Thai in, when I moved to the UK for college and university, where that's where I really started uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and MMA. Uh, I fought a couple of uh, kickboxing while I was in the UK I, I even won the British semi-contact uh, kickboxing at 67 kilos. Um, so that was a cool achievement for me. And right now I am at a 7-1 MMA record, um, amateur. I fought at welterweight in season 4. I lost in the semi-finals to Tiban. And right now I'm dominating the featherweight division. <laughs> so fine, Damon Sue, the defending champion, what do you make of him as an MMA fighter? Um, Damien Su, um, he is he was a bantamweight champion last year, you know, so he's moved up one category above, so he doesn't have to cut so much weight. Um, what do I make of him? Um, I respect the guy, but I don't fear him. Um, he's a jiu-jitsu guy, you know, he he's, he's a strong man. He comes in, he likes to trap you to the cage, just take you down and just rip on that arm. So that's his game plan, and he's the same fighter all the time, you know, and I'm a different fighter. I can fight anyway. Take me to the ground, you want to strike with me, you want to wrestle with me, I can go everywhere with you. I was going to ask that next. I think most of your fights finish in submissions. Yeah. Does this fight finish in a submission, or are we going to show a bit more of your game? Well, you know, like, I go into every fight with the objective to win. I don't go and say, I'm going to go in for submission, I'm going to go in for KO, I'm going to go in and win. Whatever it is, if you give me anything, I will take it from you. I, if you give me an opportunity, I will, I will literally grab it by the throat. <laughs> you sound very confident. What it means to you to win this? I mean, there's some big names that have won this in the past. Uh, it means the world. Like, this is, this is everything to me. I've sacrificed, I've given up everything, you know. The league fights are really, really take a toll on you mentally and physically, you know. I've been in a fight camp for a year, you know, because I dropped from welterweight, 77 kilos, walking around about 78, and to fight at 65 kilos. So I dropped a good 13 kilos, you know, to be in fit, shape, you know. So it means everything, everything for me, and I need to win the title for me to go big, you know? Just like you said, all those big names, there's one Mima, they need to win it. Do or die, do you need the platform to win it? You need to win it and then you can go on to bigger things. How tough has it been working, being a banker and training MMA? It must be very difficult. It's, it's very tough, um, but I can't complain about it. You just gotta do it, you know? My training, I train four hours straight after work, you know? I'm in the gym at seven o'clock, I leave the gym about 11, 11.30, you know, and then it's just like dinner and then sleep and then over again, do it again, you know. So it's a day in, day out thing, you know, you just have to keep going and yeah, that's it really. And here we are now, you know, the grand finals. <laughs> Lastly, do you think this could be a stepping stone to going full-time MMA? Is that, is that the plan? Um, yeah, definitely. It is huge stepping stone. But first of all, you know, I need to win that title. That title is so important you know to 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 take that next step you know if if you go to the no one remembers number two you know you can't be number two and all of a sudden i'm going pro and you know i i want to go in this big big organizations nah you you, you got to win and you got to have something to say right okay you know we'll give this kid a contract he's won this so yeah brilliant looking forward to it good luck tomorrow night thank, thank you, you.